to me is the reason why we are living. If not because of the that we get today, may we be able to thank Jesus. Can we worship God? And subdue it and have dominion 
over the fish of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Praise the Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. By the special grace of God, I want this morning I want to talk about the topic titled Moving from Barrenness to Fruitfulness. Moving from barrenness to fruitfulness. Right from the very moment, the very beginning, it has always been the desire of God that man should be fruitful in every area of his life. More than any other thing, period. Oftentimes we see people in places where nothing seems to be moving, going well. Is there a family need you are going about them with? Do you have unfulfilled dreams that have been causing you sleepless nights? Have you got to a point of total hopelessness? There is a good news for somebody here today. Amen. The Lord is moving you from what is barrenness. Barrenness can be described as a state of unproductivity, unfruitful, unable to duplicate one's soul to multiply. In fact, it is hopeless and sleep on a helpless situation. So in order to achieve fruitfulness, barrenness has to be dealt with. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us in the church chapter 7, verse 14. 14 be precisely. There shall not be barren male and female amongst you, and even your livestock. Praise the Lord. Therefore, the Bible says so. There shall not be barrenness, both male and female, including your livestock. I declare this morning in the name of Jesus Christ that barrenness or whatever that represents barrenness in your life shall depart in Jesus' name. Amen. That's why I say, barrenness will no longer be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. There are categories of barrenness. There are marital barrenness. That's talking about barrenness of the womb. There are material barrenness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is also mental barrenness. But because of the occasion we are into today, I'll be talking on marital barrenness. Barrenness of the womb. So barrenness, there are different kind of topics. I mean, because these things are, these other other barrenness are different topics all the same and um, all itself. But because today of a, a day of celebration, the day of dedication, we're talking about what the enemy has been using against the children of God, which is marital barrenness. Praise God. So according to from where we read Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-seven and twenty-eight. 28 8 says, God gave us command. He gave man command. He gave us command. And he gave us the authority to be fruitful, to multiply, and replenish the eight. Fruitful means to duplicate. Multiply means to add, to add more. Replenish means to fill everywhere. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. So this is the authority God has given to us. But the devil is always on rampage. Fighting against that which God has planned for, him, for man. I remember somebody in Nigeria, you know, then, all these comedians, he says, he was asked of how many children he has. He said he has 14 of 15 children there about. He said, why, how can you, how can you say, I mean, talk to you alone, of how many wives, say one wife. 
He says, because the Bible says so. The Bible says we should multiply and we should replenish. That is why he has 14 children. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. So God has given him the authority to multiply and be fruitful. Multiply and replenish the hate. But the enemy on his normal self is always fighting against the will of God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The moment a man and a woman are joined together in holy matrimony, that there will be changes in, in the, in, on the body of the woman. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. There is expectation, both from the family of the man and from the family of the woman, that there will be changes over a period of time on the body of the woman talking about conceiving. Yeah. But after some time, if this changes is not there, there's every tendency there will be anxiety, there will be tension, there will be pressure on the woman. And after so long, after so long the time, there will be pressure. There will be depression. You might be under intense pressure. But I've come to tell us this morning that barrenness is not of God. The devil is the source of Satan and devil are the source of barrenness. Because God said in his word that none shall be barren amongst you, male and female, even your cattle. And God created man and said so we should go into the world, multiply, replenish the eggs, and be fruitful. But since the fall of man, barrenness has been the order of the day. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. But one thing I'm so sure of that we are in the season of fruitfulness. Amen. Amen. I know from now on where somebody is going to come back here by this time next time next year Amen. to dedicate the baby in Jesus' name. Amen. By the time we finish dealing with the devil, we will all be smiling in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. So it's not the wish of God that his children should be barren. Because he is the one that said it earlier in, in, from the beginning. He gave us the command, he gave us the authority to go and replenish the eggs. To take care of this as great things. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said in his word, if you don't prosper it. He said also in Jeremiah chapter 28, 29, verse 11. I know the thought that think towards you, not of thought of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. So God think get good of us. Not evil, not barrenness, but fruitfulness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. You might be in the state of barrenness right now. I want to tell you that it is not desire of God to be so. But if God allows it to be so, knowing that God wants to do something great, He wants His name to be glorified. If you go to the Bible, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you go to the Bible, we see the Bible from the beginning. Genesis chapter 21, chapter 11, verse 30. Our mother, Sarah, I mean, Sarah, the, the wife of Abraham, she was barren for many years. She was barren for many years. She suffered barrenness. Also, if you go to Genesis chapter 25, verse 21, Rebecca, the wife of the son, the daughter, the son of Abraham, that is Isaac. She also suffered barrenness. If you also go to Genesis chapter 29, verse 31, Rachel, the wife of Jacob, Jacob, she also suffered barrenness. So it does not matter what you are saying right now. But one thing is very, very sure. The word is the word of God is here and amen. And it's forever settled. If you go forward in the Bible, go to Genesis chapter 21, verse 1 to 2. 
the same, the same, the same Sarah that was buried was the mother of Isaac. She moved from barrenness to fruitfulness. If you go to Genesis chapter 25 verse 21 to 24, whereby Rebecca was barren, she now became a mother of twins. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Genesis 30 verse 22, the wife of Jacob was also barren, but now she has become a mother of children. I have come to convert professor to somebody once again this morning. Amen. It's not only about your womb going to open, but the Lord Almighty is going to bless you. Amen. He's going to take you from barrenness to fruitfulness. Amen. And that's the devotion of somebody in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We have come to present with our brother and our sister. The Bible says we should rejoice and they pray that no barrenness will be found in your womb in Jesus' name. Amen. If you go further in the Bible, Judges chapter 13, verse 2 to 3, there was a man called Maud, Manon, that's the husband to, I mean, father to Samson, this dead woman. And she gave a to the bed to a son, Samson, whom we know very well, that was filled with anointing, that was even with the jaw of a lion. He was killing all nations upon nations. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, if you are passing the state of barrenness in your womb right now, know that the Almighty God is pre preparing something great in your life. Amen. All those aforementioned people there, their life was not, not, they were never, they never like ordinary people. They were made great. So the Almighty God is preparing something great in your womb in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you also talk about our um, um, Hannah, First Samuel chapter 1 verse 2. Hannah was also barren for many years. She did everything possible. But when it was time for the Lord to remember her, the Lord remembered her. Oh, yes. I want to talk about Elizabeth. Elizabeth was also barren. I'm mentioning all this is to tell you that God has not forgotten you. He thinks of you every day. So if God can allow all these things, barrenness to take place in the life of all these great women, even our great mother in Israel, know that the Almighty God is preparing you for greatness in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord will accomplish everything that concerns you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will make you fruitful in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will open every close to be your body in Jesus' name. Amen. This day will be a day you remember in your life that the Lord this day to you in Jesus' name. Amen. How can we move from barrenness to, to, to fruitfulness? Let's open our Bible to Hebrews chapter 2, verse 6, chapter 6, verse 12 to 14. That ye be not slothful. You need to be not slothful. But followers of them who through faith and patient inherit the Followers of them who through faith inherit the and patient inherit the, 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 the earth. For when God made promise to Abraham. For God, when God made a promise to Abraham. Because he could not swear by no greater, he swore by himself. God swore by his own name alone. Say, surely blessing I will bless thee, mm. and multiplying I will multiply. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So for you women of God of old, Despite what they were passing through, despite all the minutes they were going through, they never folded their hands. They were there doing something. They never relented in having faith in God because they know that He who has promised is able and more than able to accomplish what He has promised. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, are you passing through barrenness right now? How to have faith in God? God said, The word of God said, No one shall be barren. If God has spoken, no man can counter it. He said, none shall be barren. It might not be now, but in comment, you shall be fruitful in Jesus' name. Amen. Because the man you have faith in him. Have patience with him. He's organizing your, your future for you. He's preparing something great for you. He's preparing the great, great, great men and women of God in your life, in your womb. So have patience with him. Have faith in him. And he will bring it to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer is the master key. Even as uh, Rebecca was, even as um, Rachel, 
was crying, lamenting. The husband was somewhere interceding for him. He was praying ceaselessly. The Bible said we should pray without ceasing. We should pray without ceasing. In every circumstance, we should pray. The moment you stop praying, you give the devil the loophole to enter. But so when you pray, continue, continue to pray. Whether you are seeing the sign, whether you are not seeing the sign now, keep on praying. And the Lord will answer your prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Another thing you have to do to move from, from to move from live a life of praise, thanksgiving, and worship unto God. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. In everything, in every situation, give him thanks. Praise the Lord. Amen. So don't be bothered about the things about the things around you. Keep on praising God. Keep on provoking the devil. Through your praises, through your worship, through your thanksgiving to God. And the Almighty will bring to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another thing you need to do is to live a life of holiness. A true anger. Those who are rejoicing. Don't envy anybody because your own time is coming. You might have one child now. And you decide to have five. They are on the way. Amen. The Lord will make it to happen in Jesus' name. Amen. That we can see in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 9, and the Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 13. <coughs> also, we go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. We are enjoying to still avoid stress and anxiety. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. Don't, be, don't, don't, don't put yourself in unnecessary anxiety. Don't put yourself on unnecessary uh, um, um, pressure. Trust the Almighty Lord with all your heart to bring to pass that which He has promised. Praise God. Hallelujah. Another thing you have to do to be an ardent soul winner. Be an ardent soul winner. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Help and be more committed to the work of God. Do not allow your situation and circumstances to deter you from serving God. Be more committed to the work of God. Go beyond boundaries of wisdom to the kingdom of God. And as you're working for God, God will be working for you in Jesus. Please encourage yourself through the word of God and encourage yourself through the word of God. There is no problem on this earth that is not found in the word of God. The Bible that the Bible give us, I mean, you pick up courage from trying the word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Do not listen to what your friends might tell you or the advices. But look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Encourage yourself in the word of God. Because he has every word for every problem. Praise God. And then of course, James chapter 2 verse 14. Play your own part very well. Play your own part very well. God can do every other thing, but there are things you have to do yourself. Play your own part. Do everything to please God and leave the rest for God Almighty to do. Praise Master Jesus. But it's of the devil. By the time you begin to do all this and apply all this you move from barrenness to fruitfulness. It does not matter the kind of but it does not matter what you're going through right now. It doesn't matter how long it has been. But put your trust in God Almighty to bring it to pass. And it shall surely come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Your own barrenness and fruitfulness in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I conclude, may somebody help me read the Psalm 37, verse 3 to 8. And do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, 
and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way, because of the man who bringeth evil, wicked, wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you are really sure and you sincerely desire to have it to the womb, my prayer is that in the next one year, we will gather here together Amen. to dedicate the child in Jesus' name. Amen. If the Almighty God visited the, 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 the women of the old, the God Almighty sent God yesterday. He is the God sent today, and He will God forever. He has never changed, and His words are A.A. and Amen. And His words are forever settled. No human being can change it. I assure you once again, Lord Almighty is praying to bring you fruitless in your womb in Jesus' name. Amen. He's taking you away from the school of barrenness to the school of fruitfulness in Jesus' name. Amen. We shall celebrate you in Jesus' name. Amen. God always shall be a double person in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we stand on our feet? Today we are dedicating a baby sister. Sister Greta, what is your name? Greta, I know that Greta is your name. What is your name? The name is Elosa Greta. Elosa Greta. Elosa Greta. Praise the Lord. We are not the first of our generation. Elosa Greta is not your name. I want to enjoy my wife, Pastor Josephine, and the rest of the women to go back and then bring the baby to the front.
brother and our sister, to our Sazawa family, to this beautiful lady, greater for Sazawa. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's a wonderful day. The education will know very well what it is. When we talk about education, it means giving over. Committing into the hand. Committing to. So dedication is not about coming to dance. But it's about giving over. When we read about the book of, I mean the book about Hannah. Hannah approached with the Almighty God. If he, if he should bless her with a son, she's going to dedicate him. To him alone. And she did it according to what she promised. And our brother and our sister has come today, has come today, God. Because I know that whatever I think handing, handing over to God, nothing shall happen to it. And that gives them the confidence to bring this child to dedicate, to give over to God Almighty, to take care of. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know that after today. After this meeting, this child will remain dedicated and for God alone. Amen. Am I right? Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want to call on my pastors, the ministers. I want to call Pastor Chidi, Pastor Josephine, the King Peter. The rest, rest of us will join us in faith to pray over this child. We don't have too much faith. So I want to start with you. Please help me to pray. Declare good tidings upon her. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jehovah and my God, we are dedicating greater into your heart. We pray from today, she will be greater. Steps, light will shine. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Academically, you will be brilliant. Amen. Physically, you will be smart. Amen. The Lord Almighty will shine his glory upon your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. King of glory, ancient of day, I want to say thank you for this we are doing today to you be your glory. Amen. Baba, may your child, as is called greater, may, he, may she be great in Jesus' name. Amen. May she excel in every area of her life in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Baba, the Egyptian disease will not be a portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Baba, she will not die young. Amen. She will live to see her children, children in Jesus' name. Baba, wherever she goes, the gospel of God shall be preached in Jesus' name. Amen. Baba, divine favor will be her portion. Amen. Men and women will favor her. Amen. Old and young will favor her. Do the Lord Almighty will favor her in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. King of glory, she will be great in every part of her life and everything she does shall be to your praise and glory. She will live in righteousness and holiness Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. She will preach your gospel far and near in Jesus' name. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Prophecies came out upon, upon his life. The book of Luke chapter 2, chapter 25. Prophecies came out from Simeon. And he glorified the Lord and said, Father, thank you that this day we have been part and parcel of this day. Because he was waiting for somebody, he was waiting for the Messiah to come. My Father, we declare and decree unto the life of greater. Among her peers, she will be greater. Amen. In her going out, she will be greater. Amen. In her coming in, she will be greater. Amen. She will be a source of joy and happiness to the family. Amen. She will be a source of joy and happiness to the church. Amen. She will not be the absolute of her age. Amen. My father will prophesy over the Almighty once again. 
Whatever thing that we need to train her, you go to heaven with supply. Amen. The parents will not lack. Amen. She will not want. Amen. When it's time for her to go to school, she will go to school. Amen. When it's time for her to go to university, she will go to university. Amen. When it's time for her to get married, she will get married. Amen. When it's time for her to have children, she will have children. Amen. She will not survive the delay of any time. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Hallelujah. According to the book of Proverbs 26, verse 6, the Bible says that children of a child are very short. But when he grows up, not back from this. I want to ask you a question. Are you promising me here before this great people do that they're going to turn up this child greater, that's one, the word of the Lord, the way he should grow. And so when he grows up, not about for this. Yes, our sons. Church, did you hear that? Yes. I will clap again. This is a right vision. The Almighty God will give you grace to do so. Amen. Father, Father, we adore you. Israel, Amen. that we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. We give you all the glory, Lord Almighty. Amen. We give you all honor. Amen. We give you all adoration. Amen. Jehovah, I won't say that yet when we are mothers, we will know what we are going to become. Yes, Lord. You know that this day is going to be a dedication of this child. Oh, yes. Amen. Lord Almighty, you are with the mother all through the nine months he carried her. Yes. So many goes through what she went through, but she could not, they could not survive it. But Lord, your hand was upon her, Amen. and greater came unto this earth. Amen. We have come to dedicate her unto your mighty hand this day. Amen. For we know that whatever has been committed into your hand, nothing shall happen unto it. Amen. That I pray upon the life of this child. That no evil hand shall touch this child. Amen. Or if by any attempt, any, any, hand, any evil hand tries to touch her, I cause that hand to be withered in Jesus' name. Amen. No evil eye shall see her. Amen. Or if anyone tries to look at her with evil eye, that eye shall get blind in Jesus' name. Amen. If anyone tries to speak ill, speak negatively in the life of this child because he's a child. I reverse this, the word back to the sinner in Jesus' name. Amen. My Lord and my God, this child you have brought into this, this world, let every of your promises concerning her be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Amen. That the children have stages of life. Now she's still on the, on the palm of her mother. 
There were times she expected to be sitting on her own. That when that time comes, let her sit on her own in Jesus' name. Amen. When it's time for her to stand on her feet, let her stand on her feet in Jesus' name. Amen. When it's time for her to begin to walk and talk, let her begin to do so in Jesus' name. Amen. Daddy, let goodness and mercy follow this child. Amen. As mountains around Jerusalem, surround her and household in Jesus' name. Amen. Let greater Osazuwa be like a house built on top of the hill that can never be hidden. Amen. Because your favor is upon her life. Amen. People will see her glorify your holy name. Amen. Daddy, make her the light like apple of your eyes. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. Amen. Daddy, this day, 11th of September 2016, we are giving the life of this child into your mighty hand. Amen. Therefore, we are dedicating her unto you. Amen. Greater Osasua. Mm. In the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your name shall be written in the book of life. Amen. Whatever that has represented, represented the barrenness in the life of your parents. For they shall turn to fruitfulness in Jesus' name. Amen. That in whatever the parents required to train up this child where she should grow in wisdom, in grace, in substance, applying abundance in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let the church shout a better amen. Amen. I receive from you, like my son and my father. Amen. So now we're going to be taking. Uh, I know that the family might have something to before they come for the Thanksgiving. They might want to say something to the congregation and to the church. I thank you for supporting me and thank my pastor here. I thank my ministers, pastor prayer warrior that support me in prayer. I thank you all, my God, my God, as we do that. I want to thank everybody that honors my everyone that honors my decision. Thank you, my God, my Lord Jesus. I I pray that God will find you with the grace of Jesus. Yeah. 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 Time, time for dance and time to play them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, as the fire is giving us the, the sound from the moon sound, you can come and enjoy and dance with them. And if you have any gift, you have any to give them, the ball is open. Come and sing. One more song for me. Come and sing.
house that wants to give something to the baby so that we will not cut things off. There is plenty of rice and stew. So please don't go away. We will be in the house.
know it. We have to finish you and we are ending with you. Amen. We know you have not yet finished with us. This is the beginning of what you are going to do for us to remain for the week. Amen. We know you are going to lift us up and you never lift us down. Amen. We know you are faith to continue to shine us up this week. Amen. We know you are going to bless us with your pleasure. We know you are going to give us the job measure. We will keep on jobs. As many of us as we even if I've had about the barrenness and the fruitfulness, henceforth shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. We know, my Father, my God, my and what shall be a thing of the past. Because we have come to fellowship with you. Because we have come to hear your word, God, because we have come to dine with you. Come with you. We cover the high and the fire with the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the life of Sister Great, Great. For whom you have done she will never go to another God Almighty God. We thank you for the pastor in the house of God Almighty. For whom you have used for blessing. We thank you for the pastor of God. We thank you for the defeated in the college. We thank you for the choir of God Almighty God, the band and the ocean of God Almighty God. But in any way they have ministered, minister us today for God Almighty God. Don't make us to be spectators in this day, O God Almighty God. Make us to be participants of the blessings that you are doing that you do for us today, O God Almighty God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Shall we share this place together? In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let us have a life of God and the love of God and the love of God. Surely, God's goodness and Jesus shall be with us all the days of our lives, and we shall stay in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you.